Hi everybody, it's David Herrera here from the Tips Team, and I'm here with a very quick video about how to use Google Translate in Google Docs. Now, just a quick reminder to subscribe to our channel if you want to stay up to date with our after-school tech tips. We post a video about a variety of different edtech tools every week. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, for the purposes of this video, I've created a very simple document here with a paragraph that I want to be able to translate into a different language. Now, Google Docs actually has a built-in feature that uses the power of Google Translate to be able to create a new document translated into a new language. So, all I need to do once I'm looking at this document is head over to the Tools tab on the top left, and I'm going to go down to Translate Document. And in here, it's actually asking me, what do you want to call this new document? So, I'm going to translate into Spanish because that is my first language and I'm going to be able to verify that that text is actually translated properly. And because we're talking about bees, we're just going to say abejas. So translate and it automatically opens up the documents and now translated into Spanish. Um, and we can see here that it even recognizes that it's written in Spanish. So the uh, spell check and grammar check is actually in Spanish for this document now. So that's pretty much it. That's how we can translate documents using Google Docs. Now, if you do have access to Gemini for Education, the advanced version of Gemini, there is another way that you can translate parts of your document into a different language. All I have to do is simply select the text that I want to be able to translate. And if you see the little uh, Help Me Write button, I can click on this. And my prompt is going to be translate this text into Spanish. And so in here, once I do this and I press enter, we can see right here, it has provided me with a translation. And we recently published a video about some of the differences between translating using Google Translate and Google Gemini. In general, Gemini is able to translate the meaning behind certain sentences a little bit better than translate sometimes. We might find that translate translates um, things a little bit literally. Um, either way, they're both great options for being able to translate documents into a different language. So if I'm ready, I can just go ahead and insert or I can select it and copy it. But we're going to go ahead and insert and we can see that I now have two different sentences. It kind of added it right onto the bottom of my paragraph, but I have my one paragraph in English, my one paragraph in Spanish, and it was a very easy way to be able to have multiple languages in one document. So there you have it, two different ways of being able to translate text in Google Docs. So that is it for me this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date with any of our after school ed tech tips. And if you are interested in getting any kind of professional development at your school, please don't hesitate to reach out to your tips member. Have an awesome week. Bye bye.